What's up guys? I know it's been just a little bit. Uh, I get pretty self-conscious about the, the shop being a bit of a mess. I've kind of come to the conclusion and realization that the shop is never going to be anything but a mess because we work in it every day. It's just kind of part of it. But I'm really excited. I just got a new piece of equipment in the shop. It's definitely going to be a big project, but it's a project that I see pop up in the forums all the time. Uh, where there's a lot of interest and not that much uh, information. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick look at what it looks like now and kind of try and break down some of the things that I found looking it over for a few minutes. Uh, and hopefully this will help you guys. And I'm, I'm really hoping that I can kind of document uh, going through a machine like this so that it will help somebody else in the future. So let's go ahead and take a look. So here's the deal. I just got a sanding machine. The deal on this was too good to pass up. Um, didn't even spend a thousand bucks on it. So I bought it sight unseen. One of my good friends picked it up for me when he went up to Michigan and brought it back down. Now looking in here, this is not at all what I expected. Uh, the machine is probably a bit more rough than I thought it would be, but uh, for the price, not more than I should have expected it to be. Uh, one of these systems, after looking at it for a little bit of time, really is, is not that complicated. We've got a retroreflective sensor here. Um, the reflector is missing. Um, I think maybe it goes, goes here in this hole, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, this was kind of weird. So this is just like a little pancake cylinder. Uh, with a bearing on top. Now this bearing can move all over the place and that just is, that's not what I expected to see there. Um, I don't think it'll hurt anything like that. If it does, I'll just do something different. Um, this is really easy to change out. I can just put a, uh, a guided cylinder on there, no problem. It does have SMC controls on it. Um, I don't really know what this switch will do because it's not really something that you'll be accessing when it's running, um, but no big deal. So this is the main main box here. Now I'm going to try and open this one handed without tearing it up. Now this sucks. So this, these things are not cheap, uh, especially for a 15 horse motor, which is what this has on it. Um, honestly, we're probably just going to give that a go and see if it works just because I don't really want to replace it. Um, this is not great. We've definitely got some weather cracked uh, cables. Um, this, I haven't really had much time to look at it. I don't know if there's multi-conductor stuff inside here or if this is just a bare wire underneath, but we can take a look at that. Um, it's really hard to see because it's so dark, but there's a piece of wood there. Uh, definitely gonna have to get that out with uh, planning to use this for metal. Uh, this whole top here, this thing unbolts with four bolts. So there's a bolt there and then in each corner, and I don't see one in the middle, because where would it bolt to? With the conveyor under it. So we're just gonna lift that off so we can repaint it. Now the air systems over here, or the air control, and it looks like this just runs off 120 with a three conductor cable in there. Um, so what I'm gonna do is probably hot rod that. I think uh, you know we'll probably knock the mud dauber nest out. This means it's been sitting probably outside. We'll knock that mud dauber nest out or just replace the fitting and give her a go. I did not leave myself much room over here when I brought this into the shop. Now this was cool. So this is actually the belt tracking system. Uh, this is another little SMC cylinder. I don't know how good a shape it's in, but um, when it senses the belt, it just kicks this on and shifts the whole thing. You can see it right here, it shifts the whole thing over. Um, and that helps realign this top roller, but I mean, that, I thought that that was really cool. Very, very simple. Um, shouldn't really be much of a problem. Same system up here. Um, 
yeah i mean really this is this is gonna be pretty cool so a big thing with uh with metal sanders versus wood sanders is that most uh wood sanders have actually got solid rollers like this one over here i'm gonna try and stay out of the light there uh, and wood ones have got rubber coated so like this one uh, this one has got both uh, not seen that before so honestly i'm thinking we can just make this work for what i need um, chain underneath is really rough uh, for the leveling system i have no idea if it's actually level looking at it here i'm kind of thinking that we might be a little lower on the left side um, but honestly that chain probably needs to come off anyway uh, so that i can well replace it Big old 15 horsepower Baldor motor under there. We even got some free moss. But yeah, I say we start cleaning this up and see what it'll do. Um, I don't have three phase in the shop yet, but that kind of uh, will be the next thing that I mention. So uh, I mentioned briefly last time that we were going to buy a a water jet potentially, but I wasn't sold on the idea. I did end up nixing that idea. I was going to be partnering with somebody else to do that, which didn't really uh, rub me the right way. So what we ended up doing was finding a cheaper fiber laser. And so we have a two kilowatt Chinese fiber laser on the way. Uh, yeah, I know it's Chinese, but let's see what we can do with it. Um, got three phase that I'll be trying to put in via rotary phase converter so I can take it with me wherever we go uh, for when we leave this shop and I've got somebody coming to look at upgrading the meter base for me tomorrow so that's pretty exciting but I am really excited to get started on this um, can't today though so this here all of this has to get moved today so I'm gonna go ahead and stop filming and get to that. I will see you guys next time. Make sure that if you're interested in seeing kind of how our progression goes and you don't mind a little bit of shop mess, you know, because we got projects going on all the time, um, make sure you guys subscribe. See what we're up to. I will see you guys next time on Engineering Awesome.